Morning folks, they're working on putting the floor in the bin the rest of the way. Hopefully they'll be able to finish that up today. Just flip some wind brakes. It's getting that cooler time of the year. We don't need the shade. We have enough right here with that one and I wanna box scrape this so I got those out of the way. Shortly a cement truck's showing up at the North Farm and we gotta pour a little cement. So I think we'll stay busy today. We cleaned the north lot yesterday and we got a pretty decent sized pile in there. That's some rich manure. I just want to clean up around the pile, get it kind of tall. These cattle are going to want to walk on it and spread it around and pack it down, which will make it harder to pick up. You know, ideally we haul out the same at the same time that we're piling it up, but you know, I had the time and the conditions to pile it up, but I got nowhere to haul it to, so I just, I'm just getting done what I can. And they're still climbing. They don't play King of the Hill, they play Moo! like they got about half that floor in and the new bin sounds like my concrete truck is on the way so we mentioned it last video but we tore out the old vent system in here because we needed something solid to put the new supports and floor on dad uncle Jeff and I wheelbarrowed gravel down in there we didn't really need a whole lot of cement it didn't need to be a foot deep so we saved a little money by throwing some gravel in there and concrete will be plenty strong so they'll poke their chute in probably just be wheelbarrowing and screeding this doesn't need to look pretty it just needs to be somewhat flat and level we're gonna make it wet that
Well, that turned out pretty well. Thankful Uncle Jeff was here and he wheelbarrowed and I did some all right finish work. Filled in all the holes and that should be hard and ready to go for him to start putting the floor in, which is sitting right out here. They'll start doing that tomorrow, I believe. There's probably a yard left, honestly, half a yard to a yard worth of concrete. And Uncle Jeff got a board and put it by his water tank as a backstop and we're just gonna dump the rest of it there and make it a little bit easier for them calves of his to get up to the water tank when it's muddy. Suppose we'll just dump it right here and see how far we get. pretty good when people are asking what Ellie is doing the answer is laying deep between the deep freezes in the garage because that's what she does best the calf that's in the pasture by my place that uh, has a bad eye. Yeah. Using some clear darts today. I have a lot of confidence in the new dart. The brand of the gun we have, they make darts, those aluminum ones that we use all the time. Um, I think they're a great dart. Sometimes they're hard to come by, and so these clear darts are another option. Haven't used them that much, but uh, had pretty good results, I think. One thing that's cool is you actually get to see them fill up, so you know you got the thing full. Well, that's not a good look. That one just exploded. Thought I was saying something nice about clear dart and then, then the thing blows up and wow. I thought I saw a, like a spark, that was crazy. I definitely saw some light. Thing just blew up. I would say I've never had that <clears throat> with new dart. We have had these darts for a while. I don't know if they're uh, getting old. This is your first experience with clear dart. I've had way more successes than failures, I guess. I don't want to talk bad about anybody, but dang, that just blew up right on camera. So I cracked the plastic here, turned kind of black somehow. As you can see, the rest of it's the needle, which is still poking into the calf. I don't know how well it's gonna fall out since all this weight isn't hanging on it. Well, about an hour later, all the cattle wandered up. And we sorted 406 off because there's a needle sticking in his neck yet. So I guess we'll get him in the chute and do things the right way. Pull that needle out. So I started with two darts, and I darted that first one, 
dart exploded, so I darted a different one. So right there when I was just treating him in the chute, he hadn't actually gotten a full rate yet because his the dart that I shot at him blew up. Yeah, I didn't treat him twice. Thought I'd explain that because I didn't earlier. I learned today that this has a 15 horsepower motor. Our other two bins have 10. That's that's hefty. Wow, that's it's very uh, it's attractive. I like the yellow. You know, you won't see it much only when you're cleaning it. But what do you think, folks? I think. We're gonna need another one with the uh, corn crop we got coming, but glad this one is pretty much wrapped up. I should grease this zerk before we uh, fill it with corn. So it looks like to engage the sweep, you got neutral and drive. I kind of like that. Our other two bins right here, I'll just walk over here and show you. This lever engages the sweep, and we often have a bungee cord going from over here to keep it engaged, sometimes it slips out. The way this one's set up, you know, once you get it in there, you, didn't, you aren't worried about it coming back. This lever over here is the emergency sump, and they gotta bolt it down so someone that don't know what they're doing accidentally engages it, but that's if main middle sump plugs up, say a big chunk of corn, and then uh, you open that, and so that furthest down yellow sump hole will open up and you can hopefully keep pulling grain out. It looks like Palace Builders is pretty much done here. You know, the bins erected, concrete poured, of course. All that stuff is together. I'll probably send my electrician a couple pictures and a message saying you can come anytime and get this set up the rest of the way. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed watching the bin get built, you know, step by step. That was pretty enjoyable for me, you know, my first bin. Anyway, I've talked enough. Thanks for watching, folks. Love to see you next time. Have a good one.